Hi there, and welcome to Mission Tristan. Today, I'm going to do a little series on visas and applications, timelines, prices, things like that. Um, all this information is available online, but sometimes things get a little tricky, a little strange, a little whatever, um, and there's some nuance you should know. Um, so this is my perspective um, using a US passport and getting visa for, I'm gonna start with Vietnam. So <clears throat> for Vietnam, I had read online that like it was like, oh, don't do it more than one week out. And normally I'm really like on top of these things, let's go, let's get it done quickly, let's have it ahead of time, blah, blah, blah. But I kind of got burned doing an Indian one because they start the time frame as soon as you have received yours, not when you arrive. So I was also managing some other stuff and I didn't do it till um, eight days before uh, my arrival date. And I think it would have been fine, except that they have a part on the application that says, um, give a name, middle name, surname. And along this whole process, some things uh, are listed and required, and some things are listed and not required. And you can tell by the red asterisk, right? So given name and surname were required, middle name was not. And so I thought, okay, why bother putting in my middle name? Normally I would probably give more information than you need, but it had loads of things on there that weren't required and that were just kind of like, what the, what do they need this for? What, what good is it? How is this gonna help? Like I, is this, I'm gonna triple the amount of time I spent on this application if I fill all this stuff. So I did not put it. Fast forward about like three, four days. So around the rough time of that the processing should have been completed. Uh, a lot of things will say two days, three days, but assume at least three uh, business days. And then I got an email that said, oh, this is being rejected because you didn't include your, it, it, it put it as second given name, but it's like, it's my middle name. So what that means is because on my passport, it lists my middle name under the, the space after my first name under given name, you have to include that as well. So I edited that, submitted, and it says 95% of um, applications are complete within seven days. Mine took, uh, I believe, 12 days. Yeah, so that did not happen in time for that trip. Um, now, that said, there are other services that are available that you can use to speed it up or to um, kind of get you a guaranteed through. Um, and those are all paid services. But if you're doing this, you know, so you don't you don't need them. Let's let's be real. You don't need them. You can just do it. You can do this up to six months out. So absolutely, I'd recommend doing it ahead of time if you, as soon as you know your details. Um, and it's like twenty five bucks, I think, for the whole thing. And so if you do this, you know, a month ahead of time, you're golden. Like, don't worry about it. But if you're getting down to the wire or you plan this last minute and whatever, there are services you can use. They'll give you a letter. Um, so basically you do the same thing, but you pay an additional, depends on how long you choose. If you choose like, you know, a week and you get like, you know, 15 bucks or whatever. But if you choose like four hours, you're gonna pay at least a hundred bucks, you know? <laughs> and those are, those are the nice end. Um, it can range quite a lot, so have a look around. There's a lot of companies offering this. Um, but basically then they do it quickly. You get a letter that guarantees you going through, and then you just pay your stamp fee. Okay, so if you somehow manage to get to the airport without a visa, as myself and several other travelers managed to, um, they get upset about that. They don't love that. Um, so then they will offer to you to do an emergency visa and an emergency visa they will charge you two hundred dollars and it's a little bit scammy um they won't really tell you what's going on and they won't accept card payment so you have to do it in cash so got some questions about that one but uh that is possibly available they're really iffy on that um and like I was in the airport with a, another emergency visa going that was significantly cheaper. 
not being paid to them and would have taken five hours and they were like no you can't do that one it's like mm, who's making these rules you know um so you know i have my thoughts and my reasons about all that but uh the other thing that i had talked to some folks about and which kind of came up is that it seems like you need to be very careful with your application the same way as i didn't include my middle name be very careful that all your information provided has the right days dates numbers etc of all the things because another thing that was happening is people are going through um to get stamped and they're there with their visa but when they get in it's like oh your uh your last name is spelled wrong it costs xyz to get this fixed and so that's another little thing to just pay attention for um so at the end of the day uh this visa is relatively simple pretty easy to get on the cheaper end of things but be careful because if you mess up little things here or there or if you don't do everything by the book it's going to cost a lot for the quick fixes